Time now for the morning rush. And we do begin with some breaking news this morning. President Trump just tweeted out that he has signed the bipartisan spending bill keeping the government open. We're going to have more details on this coming up in the five facts. What we know so far, though, is that Congress passed it earlier this morning. It was that we missed the deadline, though, because Senate voted on it an hour too late. Again, more details in the five facts. Next, Kristen Curry with our forecast. Good morning. No rain or snow today. We're going to be dealing with mostly sunny skies through this afternoon. Tomorrow, though, likely to see some rain and snow showers up over southern Colorado, our northern mountains and northeastern plains, pretty much north of I-40 is where we had that shot of rain and snow. Albuquerque is spot shower possible late Saturday into Sunday. David? As you get ready to head out the door this morning, we are following the day's top local stories. We start with Fernanda Lopez. New this morning, we're getting a first look at the highly anticipated Da Vinci the Genius exhibit here at the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science. Now, that exhibit opens tomorrow and runs through the end of July. The museum director says it's a huge get for New Mexico, and visitors are expected from throughout the region. The exhibit features models of Da Vinci's many inventions. It also includes a forensic study of the Mona Lisa. The economic impact from the exhibit coming up in the Five Facts. Sarah? Happening tomorrow, the city is looking for the community's help on what changes they'd like to see made to Borellas Park. One of the areas they're really focused on are the tennis courts that are riddled with cracks. The city says every time they'd resurface the courts, they would break and crack. The six courts take up over half of the park and are hardly ever used. So instead of just going through and patching them up again, the city wants to know what neighbors would like to see. For more information on the meeting, go to krhue.com. Crystal? New news this morning. State police are asking for your help finding a missing 70 year old woman. Police issued a silver alert overnight for Charlene Peters. Take a look at your TV screen, Sarah. She was last seen yesterday walking in Rivera and is believed to be in danger if she's not found soon. Officers say Peters was wearing a tan trench coat, sweatpants, a hat, and a pink backpack. Anyone with information, you're asked to call at 911. And this morning, we are waiting to hear from APD after they say a man ran off after shooting two women. Police say the man barricaded himself in a mobile home yesterday afternoon near Central and San Pedro in southeast Albuquerque. Officers say he got into an argument with the two women, shot one in the leg, and the other woman left the scene injured. Kristen? Threat index, that is, at a one. Just talking chilly temperatures this morning. Looking good this afternoon, though, with winds 5 to 15 miles per hour out of the west southwest and warm temperatures well into the 60s. A lot of people are fired up this morning over this political cartoon in the Albuquerque Journal. It shows a couple held at gunpoint by a trio of young gang members. The husband says, now, honey, I believe they prefer to be called dreamers or future Democrats. The journal's editor-in-chief apologized, saying they thought it was taking a jab at the president. Asian markets are lower following a major dip in U.S. markets. Now, the Dow plummeted more than 1,000 points yesterday into solid correction territory until the sell-off began last Friday. Big market swings had been rare over the past two years. Kristen? Time now for a check on your Friday morning commute. I don't see anything major out there. We're actually looking pretty good as far as the flow on both interstates as well. Of course, I'll keep eyes on the roadways for you, let you know of any updates. To news new at six, Kim Jong -un's, Jong Un's sister is in South Korea. An historic show of diplomacy at the Winter Games, Kim Yo Jong greeted South Korea's President Moon Jae in by shaking hands during the opening ceremony. Kim Yo is the first of her family to visit South Korea in decades. She was sent there by her brother along with a delegation from their country. Just moments ago, she was pictured seated next to U.S. Vice President Mike Pence, which comes a few days after North Korea announced their hard-nosed decision to not meet with any U.S. delegations during the Games. And take a look right there. It's a live look out of Pyeongchang, where the Winter Games are underway. This is all in South Korea. Hundreds of visitors are treated to an elaborate show. You can see it right there on your screens. And, of course, uh, representing the U.S. is athlete Erin Hamlin. She carried the American flag. This year, there's a new competitive sport called mixed, cur mixed curling. TripAdvisor naming a New Mexican Inn one of the nation's most romantic hotels in the nation. The travel website ranked the Inn of the Five Graces in Santa Fe as one of their top 25 hotels for romance based on reviews from guests. Inn of the Five Graces made the same list back in 2016. All right, time for the five facts. Number five here, big changes could be coming to the city's 311 system this year. Some have reported that some cases show up as closed, even though the problems still persist. This city says a closed status does not mean everything is resolved. The city also says the new changes will allow for better tracking on calls from start to finish. The planning department is piloting the update for six months. 
And at number four, we are getting a highly uh, getting a look at the highly anticipated Da Vinci exhibit at the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science. And of course, this is a chance for New Mexicans to experience the work of the great inventor and scientist. The exhibit will be on display for the next six months, but it had been in the works for about the last year and a half. The museum's director estimates that the exhibit is costing close to a half million dollars. She expects it will generate about 25 million in income for the region and, of course, benefit local hotels, restaurants, and other attractions. At number three, mild and sunny across the state today. Breezy to windy conditions come back tomorrow. Looking at the possibility and likelihood at this point of scattered rain and snow showers over the northern half of the state late Saturday into Sunday. Target here on the northern mountains and northeastern plains. Just a spot shower here in the metro with cooler temperatures for everybody on Sunday. Number two now, we are talking about Coach Bob Davey. We're still waiting on word when Lobo head football coach Bob Davey will begin his 30 day suspension. This all follows an investigation into claims of Davey making racist comments to players and obstructing a rape investigation. The athletic director says Coach Davey will likely still show up for the start of spring ball today. Investigators cannot confirm if Davey interfered with any criminal cases, but criticized the athletic department's handling of player misconduct claims. And at number one, the government had shut down for a second time, but a last minute budget deal was finally passed before 4 a.m. this morning, our time. And of course, just a few moments ago, that made its way to the president's desk where President Trump signed it, thus opening the government once again. Now, the House approved the legislation after the Senate gave the package the green light. The biggest holdup for Democrats had been the lack of a DACA immigration deal. Now, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has agreed to a meeting with lawmakers on Monday to open immigration talks.